Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to another episode of Miraculous Monday, uh, back at it again. Now, obviously, we hit a bingo last week, so I'm wearing the horns. Hopefully, we don't hit a bingo this week, so that way I don't have to wear the hair, but, um, I don't know. I, I don't control the bingo card, so, uh, it's all up to fate at this point. I don't believe I have any other news for today, so let's just go ahead and hop right into this video. Visible Confusion. Everyone's wondering why Ladybug and Cat Noir don't know who each other are behind the mask. Cue quantum masking. But I'm over here wondering how Jagged Stone and Nadia Shamak were convinced that Chloe was Ladybug even though her suit provided no quantum masking in Antibug. You know what, that's a good point. That just goes to show you that they came up with quantum masking like after the fact. They were like, oh, that's a good idea, we'll just blame it on quantum masking. And then, that, like, they definitely came up with that, like, pretty recently, so... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, like, little holes that we've seen throughout the show. Dusu. Oh, hey, we're back with the collages, with the rounded corners. Like I said last time, I think it would be harder to round the corners than to just put the images in here, but... Oh, well, I guess. Also, this is concept art, so this isn't the final design. But I guess there wasn't enough actual Dusus. Plus, low quality... Come on! Plus, this isn't even Dusu, this is just my... Okay, you know what? Whatever. There are some issues here, but I'll let it slide because... Uh, there's not a lot of Dusu, I guess. Some Ladybug Felicity concept art from Miraculous. Vindication. I've been super busy and I haven't been able to work much on the next pages of Chapter 2. Tell me what you think. Okay, so I don't really get the context or anything, but I assume that, that you're, like, making a comic that's sort of, like, a spin-off on Miraculous? That'd be my guess. I don't... I haven't, like, heard of any other thing that you're doing, so I don't... I don't... I can't give you good feedback, but I can tell that your poses look good. So, like, they look realistic and stuff, so, um, good work, I guess? I... I I'm sorry, I don't know the context of this one. Banana Noir. Okay, so we got a cat in a banana pouch thing. Although this is photoshopped, so just putting that out there. Oh, yeah, okay, just the actual Banana Noir. Oh, this is a good one. Here's a good one. Bugaboo, look, I'm Banana Noir, meow. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny, although, no, I guess you couldn't say that. I don't know, it's just kind of weird how that same uh, costume has showed up in multiple different circumstances. One with, like, Cat Noir, obviously as Adrian, but also, like, Adrian had one at his house. I think it was actually the banana guy, like, the state peachy guy who came to Adrian's house, so I don't think it was necessarily that, that Adrian had the suit there, but that's just my guess. And then we also had the state peachy guy in Kwame Buster, so uh, we've seen that a lot. That was definitely a very well-used model. Why are you running? Yes, Natalie, why are you running? She felt like she needed to get the present to Adrian super quick. Also, disappointed. Look at the bad quality. Come on. It's not that, well, I guess, depends on what you're watching it on, but you can always just find like a clip of it on YouTube and then screenshot the clip. Uh, you guys make me sad sometimes with, with all these bad quality images. Like you can see, the you just took a picture of your monitor or something. Uh, oh well. I guess you can try better next time, or something. Why are they so dumb? Marinette likes Luca. Marinette likes Adrian. <laughs> Adrian likes Kagami. Adrian likes Marinette. Destruction 100, yeah. Oh, this, this thing is a weird mess. Also, right before this, here's a fun fact, right before this, he's like, he says, just a friend. Um, he, I think the exact quote is, no, she's just a friend. Besides, uh, Marinette likes, or Marinette has Luca, or, or besides, there's Luca. That's what it was. Um, yeah, this was from Stormy Weather 2, because that was the recap episode. Although, this is a new scene from that recap episode. So, um, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a little fun fact on the history of, of this clip. Or, not history, but like backstory or context of the clip, I guess. Where are my tissue rolls? Felix? Y'all ever think about the fact that Marinette fell so fast and so hard for Adrian's open vulnerability and sincerity, and he has no idea? The side of himself he's so determined not to show to the amazing, brilliant, perfect ladybug because he's afraid she'd think less of him if she discovered out how much he struggles is actually the side of him that she's already fallen in love with. Aww. So nice. Although where does Felix come in? 
I was debated. I was expecting some sort of Felix in here. But, um, I don't... Like, Felix, you lied to me, Felix. <laughs> Where's the Felix? Nino's best terrible liar expressions. Oh, this one's fantastic. And, and, oh my gosh. So high quality. It's so high quality. Look at these. Oh, I really appreciate you. I would give you a coin. I would give you a reward, but uh, I'm running low. Well, I'm not running low. I just got to save them because I did one like last week or two weeks ago or something. But, oh man. Thank you so much for doing high quality images. Oh my gosh. They're so good. Anasi. Um, Anna. Uh. I think it was Animan. That's what it's called, right? The one with the the tiger, not the tiger, the the puma, uh, jaguar. That's what it was. Uh, this one was the puppeteer two, and this one. What's this one? I think this. Oh, this one's also the puppeteer. These ones are the same two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for doing high quality images. No watermark. Oh. I, oh man, thank you. <laughs> I love it. Made my two favorite Parisian superheroes as Lego minifigures. What do you guys think? Those actually turned out pretty well. The hair looks good. I mean, you can tell that you like used a Sharpie or something and, and drew on the spots, but other than that, looks pretty good. I think, I guess they don't have a Lego set. That'd be cool. They should make, I bet those would sell pretty well. A Lego or a Ladybug and, <laughs> a Ladybug and Cat Noir Lego set. I feel like that'd be do that that would do good, don't you think? Maybe not, but I don't know. I feel like since the show is very heavily targeted towards kids, that would get, um, I think that would do pretty well. On that note, do you really think Gabriel would pull something like this? That feeling you get when you realize everyone with a miraculous can call each other randomly, since they they're built into the contact list, and Gabriel hasn't once utilized this to annoy the heroes yet while they're they're fighting. Um, that's that's a good point. I don't there has to be something that does like You'd have to have Right, there's no way it just does that automatically, right? You'd have to well, I don't know That seems like the sort of thing where it'd have to be like the the um The miraculous holder or not the Kwame. Sorry the Kwame would have to be like, okay, so I don't know how this I don't know how this would actually work, but the Kwame sort of maybe like intentionally is like, okay, so I need to set up a contact list for this and this person, right? And then so it's like the Kwame who's mentally thinking about this is what I need to do, sort of, except they do it unconsciously because or subconsciously, because um the you know, just they've done it forever or whatever. So like when Tiki, for example, obviously Tiki knows plague and like Cat Noir is there too, so um, she would be like, okay, so I need to automatically set up this connection with Plague, and then we're good to go, right? I, that, I feel like that's that would sort of be how it works, but I don't know. That's just my best guess. And on an unrelated note, this actually looks a lot like Natalie. So uh, I don't I don't know if this was intentionally to be Natalie because you, they're missing the red streak, which is a pretty easy thing to do, I think. So. Uh, that, that'd make me believe that this was not Natalie, but, um, yeah. Good thought. Yeah, that's true. In the future, Adrian Marinette was in love with me all that time. Can you believe it, Nino? Pretends to be shocked. When you wake up and see so many unusual things that you assume you're dreaming. Okay, well, these two are not related to each other at all, but, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I guess so. I like this one better. <laughs> Nino acting... I can see that too. That's funny. Like I can envision in my head what Nina would look like. Ah, uh, that's great. <laughs> I bet you guys can too, because Nino's Nino's just that one iconic character that you can totally see him doing these things for. And this sort of goes with that other post where it's like he's pretending to, to lie. It'd be something similar to that, just not the exact same thing, obviously. Cuteness and sadness overload. They're the same picture. Well, I I mean. I guess technically, yes. Uh, if this, if he was Cat Noir, this would have to be like a black cat, and then the 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 Cat Noir, and then they would both be Cat Noir. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess 
I guess that worked out pretty well. Ladybug closed her eyes first. She trusts her kitty so much, and Cat Noir thought he was going to lose Plague and his lady, but he still trusted her. This scene from Dark Owl shows how much Ladybug and Cat Noir trust each other, and I love it. Close your eyes and no peeking. I can't do this. Trust me. Closes his eyes. Spots off. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. When this came out, this was my favorite episode. It's so sad. It is so sad that DQ animated this. And this was the worst episode that DQ ever animated. Which makes it so sad. Because, like, the episode itself is so good. But, like... The, the animation was so bad, and it makes me sad. Like, SAMG should have done that one, and it would have been great, but they didn't, and it made me sad. So, yeah, I mean, I guess, that, I guess that goes to show you that your favorite episode doesn't have to be the best animated one, you know? Like, you can still like one that's not animated perfectly. It just, oh, it would have been so much better if it was animated well, too, but I guess we can't get everything we ask for because I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense why they're going with the cheaper studio uh, when, when Miraculous is such a popular show, but oh well, I guess I don't know the insides of Miraculous. That would be pretty cool if I did, though. Marinette is putting makeup on? Wait a second, wait a freaking second. Okay, uh, maybe, but... I don't, I don't know. I guess we haven't still, we still haven't seen this dress. We still don't know what it's for, but it's there for something. I just don't know what. I mean, I guess, uh, it'd be pretty cool. It'd honestly be pretty cool if this is when we saw that dress. But I feel like the movie was in production after this dress was released, so I think it's less likely. Unless if they're just like, okay, so we didn't end up using this dress in like season three or whatever, so let's just go ahead and put it into the movie. But we've had this image for so long that they may have just forgotten about it, and this was just a concept that they never used, you know? So we may never see this dress, actually. I don't know. Or maybe it's her wedding dress. And then we'll actually see their wedding in the future. That'd be pretty cool. Sass Noir, you're wearing that shirt with those shoes? Meow. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe it's just because I'm not a fashion connoisseur, so I don't like. I honestly don't care if you if you wear like I have I have like two pairs of shoes, and that's about it. And it's it, one of them's Crocs, so I only wear the, the my one tennis shoes out. So like, I I don't know. I don't care. Okay, I <laughs> fashion. I don't I don't. Fashion isn't my thing, so I'll, I'll leave that to the fashion experts. Stay in Gorilla. You would tell me if my son was Cat Noir, right? Of course, Master. Anything for you, Gabriel. <laughs> oh, I love this one so much. Because <laughs> he doesn't talk anyway. Although, if I were to nitpick this one, you should have found a better lit version of his face. But, oh, hilarious. Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it's 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 a different take on this meme, and I like it. This is unique. I really like this one. If I was giving out points this week, I would also probably give it to you. But since I don't have unlimited points, I will not. So, yes, good job. I like it. I don't see any difference here. They're so alike. Well, what do you know? It's like that other post, except different. There's, there's just more version. And you know what? I feel like we've seen this before, though. I feel... Have we seen this one? I really feel like we have seen this post, and I'm just, like, forgetting it. At least, I'm, like, 99% sure we've seen this one before. Maybe it was just these two and these two that we've seen before. But I feel like I've seen this one. I, I don't think I've ever seen this one, though. I think I've seen these three before. Let me know down in the comments if I have. It, if or if these were in like a previous Miraculous Monday, but um, I think they were. I just can't confirm it. Yeah, it's so obvious. Close all the exits, do as I say, and turn on the house's defense system. How did you know about the security system? Uh, in a house like this, it was obvious. How much more obvious can you be? Yeah, okay. Quantum masking, okay? When they can't think of anything better, they just do quantum mask. That's probably the explanation for this one. Uh, because they, they didn't think of anything else. They were just like, haha, let's do this. 
Yeah, maybe you should have thought about that a little bit more, but you know, the repercussions aren't gonna be there, so it doesn't matter. So you're all good, I guess, Cat Noir. I can literally see this happening. Team Mareko is playing Among Us. Cat Noir, vote for Ladybug. Ladybug, what? why me? Cat Noir, <laughs> you're pretty sus for stealing my heart. <laughs> uh, Ladybug is not the imposter, that's hilarious. Oh, man. That's, that's sweet. I like this one. This one's a, a nice heartwarming one. And this definitely something that Cat Noir would say. Like, I could definitely see this going down. Uh, there was a a uh, post where it was like the actual miraculous characters i saw this on twitter and um it was like a comic of them of of the characters in like an among us game and it was pretty funny i like it it's been like a couple months since i've seen it but i did like that post so um i'll have to go look at it again because i think it was pretty funny and for the top post of the week we don't do gabe Bennett here why why is this the top post of the week yes burn it burn it I don't like this. Get out of here. I don't even want to look at this anymore. Okay, we're moving on. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content support to this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. No!